Ita sa konichua samurai engineer desk. We will uh, tackle now the final reviewer so that uh, we will be able to prepare for the final evaluation exam. So let us uh, proceed with our reviewer. We will uh, just uh, ask the question one by one, each and every question once. And if you need more time, you just have to post the video and try to uh, think about the answer and then before you can uh, you will proceed so anyway um, let us uh, continue with the first question number one ethics are the standards of conduct by which one actions are judged as a Right or wrong, B, honest or dishonest, C, fair or not fair, D, all of these options. Question number two. Combining the activities of two corporations would violate D, A, cost principle, B, economic entity assumption, C, monetary unit assumption, D, ethics principle. Question number three, a business organized as a separate legal entity under state law having ownership divided into shares of stock is A, proprietorship, B, partnership, C, corporation, D, sole proprietorship. Question number four, net income will result during a time period when A. Assets exceed liabilities B. Assets exceeds revenues C. Expenses exceeds revenues and D. Revenues exceeds expenses Question number 5 Which of the following financial statements is prepared as of a specific date a balance sheet b income statement c retained earnings statement d statement of cash flow question number six presented below is selected information related to Flanagan Corporation at December 31, 2019. Flanagan reports financial information monthly. They reported equipment, cash, service revenue, rent expense, accounts payable, utilities expense, accounts receivable, salaries and wages expense, notes payables, and dividends. Determine the total assets of Flanagan at December 31, 2019. Question 7. Presented below is the selected information related to Flanagan Corporation at December 31, 2019. Flanagan reports financial information monthly with the following uh, data, equipment, cash, Service revenue, rent expense, accounts payable, utilities expense, accounts receivable, salaries and wages expense, notes payable, and dividends. Determine the net income that Flanagan reported for December 2019. Question number 8. Presented below is selected information related to Flanagan Corporation at December 31, 2019. Flanagan reports financial information monthly. So, we have a couple. We have a list of information here. Starting with equipment, cash, service revenue. We have not payable and dividends. Determine the stockholders' equity of Flanagan at December 31, 2019. 
Question number nine. Debits. A. Increase both assets and liabilities. B. Decrease both assets and liabilities. C. Increase assets and decrease liabilities. D. Decrease assets and increase liabilities. Question number 10. Accounts that normally have debit balances are A. Assets, expenses, and revenues B. Assets, expenses, and equity C. Assets, liabilities, and dividends D. Assets, dividends, and expenses Question number 11 as president and sole stockholder, Kate Brown engaged in a following activities in establishing her saloon. The name is Hair Incorporated. Opened the bank account in the name of Hair Incorporated and deposited $20,000 of her own money in this account in exchange for shares of common stock. Required is for us to prepare the journal entries to record the transaction. Question number 12. As a president and sole stockholder, Kate Brown engaged in the following activities in establishing her saloon. He, she purchased equipment on account, I mean the company purchased equipment, to be paid in 30 days for a total cost of $4,800. Prepare the journal entries to record this transaction. Question number 13. As president and sole stockholder of uh, Hair Incorporated, Kate Brown engaged in the following activity. She interviewed for the company three persons for the position of hair stylist. We are required to prepare the journal entry to record the transaction. Question 14. Posting A. Normally occurs before journalizing. B. Transfers leisure transactions data to the journal. C is an optional step in the recording process. D. Transfers journal entries to ledger accounts. Question 15. Kate Brown recorded the following transactions in a general journal. During the month of March, during the month to March, post these entries to the cast account ledger. So we have the journal entry. We need the ledger posting. Question 16. The time period assumption states that A. The revenue should be recognized in the accounting period in which it is earned. B. Expenses should be matched with revenues. C. The economic life of a business can be divided into artificial time periods d the fiscal year should correspond with the calendar year question 17 one of the following statements about the accrual basis of accounting is false that statement is a events that change the company's financial statements are recorded in the periods in which the events occur B. Revenue is recognized in the period in which the performance obligation is satisfied. C. The accrual basis of accounting in accordance with GAAP. D. Revenue is recorded only when cash is received and expenses are recorded only when cash is paid. Question 18. Adjusting entries are made in 
to ensure that A. Expenses are recognized in the period in which they are incurred. B. Revenues are recorded in the period in which services are performed. C. Balance sheet and income statement accounts have correct balances at the end of an accounting period. D. All of the above. Question 19. A concept is provided in the left column below with a description of the concept in the right column. Match the description to the concept. So the question is accrual basis accounting. Which is the dis correct description of this? Select one from the possible answers on the uh, right side. Question 20. A concept is provided in the left and uh, the description provided in the right column. Match the description to the concept. The concept is uh, calendar year. Okay. How, should, how you should describe this? Please pick one of the possible answers from the list in the right column. Question 21. A concept is provided in the left column with a description of the concept in the right column. Match the description to the concept. A concept we are required to find out is time period assumption. Question 22. A concept is provided in the left column with a description of the concept in the right column, match the concept to the description. The concept is expense recognition principle. Question 23. The leader of Hawant Incorporated on March 31, 2019 includes these selected accounts before adjusting entries are prepared. We have prepaid insurance, supplies, equipment, accumulated depreciation, equipment, unearned service revenue with their amounts corresponding to debit and credit columns as shown. We are required to prepare the journal adjusting entries for the month of March. Okay, so transaction is what? Insurance expires at the rate of $100 per month. The leader of question 24 of Hammond Incorporated on March 31, 2019 includes these selected accounts before adjusting entries are prepaid, prepared. So we are required to prepare a journal adjusting entries for the month of March. The transaction being Supply some hand total eight hundred dollars. Question twenty five The leader of Bahamon Incorporated on March thirty one, twenty nineteen includes the following accounts. So there are accounts with debit and credit amounts, and we are required to prepare a journal adjusting entries. For the month of March. Transaction being the equipment depreciates $200 a month. Again, the leader for question 26 of Hammond Incorporated, March 31, 2019, includes selected information shown below. We are required to prepare a journal adjusting entries for the month of March. The transaction being during March, services were performed for $4,000 of the unearned service revenue. Question 27. Problem. In, in October, Pioneer Advertising Incorporated performed services worth $200 that were not billed to the clients in October. 
prepare the journal adjusting entries for the month of October. Question 28. Microcomputer services began operation on August 1, 2019. At the end of the August 2019, management prepares monthly financial statements. The following information relates to August. At August 31, the company owed its employees $800 in salaries and wages. That will be paid on September 1. Prepare the adjusting entries needed at August 31, 2019. Question 29. Microcomputer services began operation on August 1, 2019. At the end of August 2019, management prepares monthly financial statements. The following information relates to August. On August 1, the company borrowed $30,000 from a local bank on a 15-year mortgage. The annual interest rate is 10%. Prepare the adjusting entries needed on August 31, 2019. Question 30. Microcomputer services began operation on August 1, 2019. At the end of August, 2019 management prepares monthly financial statements. The following information relates to August. Revenue for services performed but unrecorded for August totaled $1,100. Prepare the adjusting entries needed at August 31, 2019. Question 31. Which of the following statements is incorrect concerning the adjusted trial balance? A. An adjusted trial balance proves the equality of the total debit balances and the total credit balances in the ledger after all adjustments are made. B. The adjusted trial balance provides the primary basis for the preparation of financial statements. C. The adjusted trial balance lists the account balances segregated by assets and liabilities. And letter D. The adjusted trial balance is prepared after the adjusting entries have been journalized and posted. Question 32. Skolnik Corporation was uh, organized on April 1, 2019. The company prepares quarterly financial statements. The adjusted trial balance amounts at June 30 are shown below. So we have the uh, accounts for the debit side and the accounts for credit side. They have total of thirty-seven thousand three hundred ten for both sides. Okay. We are required to determine the net income for the quarter April one to June thirty. Question thirty-three. Skolnik Corporation was organized on April 1, 2019. The company prepares quarterly financial statements. The adjusted trial balance amounts at June 30 are shown below. So we have the given uh, accounts for debit side and the accounts for credit side. Both sides total each $37,310. Required is to determine the total assets and total liabilities at June 30, 2019 for Skolnik Corporation. Question 34. Skolnik Corporation was organized on April 1, 2019. The company prepares quarterly financial statements. The adjusted balance amounts at June 30 are shown below. So we have the following data for accounts with debit amounts, the following data for the accounts with credit amounts. Both of the sides total 37,310 each. Determine the amount of retained earnings at June 30, 2019. Question 35. The net 
income is shown on a worksheet in the A. Income statement, debit column only. B, balance sheet, debit column only. C, income statement, credit column, and balance sheet, debit column. D, income statement, debit column, and balance sheet, credit column. Question 36. Hancock Company has the following balances in selected accounts of its adjusted trial balance. So we have uh, accounts, payable, service revenue, rent expense, and so on, up to the accounts receivable and salaries and wages. Prepare the closing entries at December 31 of the Hancock Company. Question 37. Sanchez Company discovered the following errors made in January 2019. A payment of salaries and wages expense of $600 was debited to supplies and credited to cash, both for $600. Required. Correct the errors without reversing the incorrect entry. So, meaning the required is make the journal entry that will uh, correct the errors okay, without reversing the incorrect entry. Okay. So, question 38. So, we have. Sanchez Company discovered the following errors made in January 2019. What is the error? A collection of $3,000 from a client on account was debited to cash $200 and credited to service revenue $200. Required to correct the errors without reversing the incorrect entry. Question 39. Sanchez Company discovered the following errors made in January 2019. The purchase of supplies on account for $860 was dividend to supplies $680 and credited to accounts payable $680. Required is to correct the errors without reversing the incorrect entry. So make the uh, journal entry of the transaction, of the uh, error correction. Question 40. The correct order of presentation in a classified balance sheet for the following current assets is A. Accounts receivable, cash, prepaid insurance, inventory. B. Cash, inventory, accounts receivable, prepaid insurance. C. Cash, accounts receivable, Inventory prepared insurance and the inventory cash accounts receivable prepared insurance. Question 41 Patents and copyrights are A. Current assets, B. Intangible assets, C. Long term investments, D. Property, plant, and equipment. Question 42. Which of the following is not a long-term liability? A. Bonds payable. B. Current maturities of long-term obligations. C. Long-term notes payable. D. Mortgage payable. Question 43. In a perpetual inventory system, a return of defective merchandise by a purchaser is recorded by crediting A. Purchases B. Purchase return C. Purchase allowance D. Inventory Question 44 On September 5, the La Jolla Company buys merchandise on account from Jurat DS Company. The selling price of the goods is 1500 
and the cost to DS Company was $800. On September 8, De La Hoya returns defective goods with a selling price of $200. Record. Record the transaction of the books of De La Hoya Company on September 5. Transaction. Okay. So question 45. On September 5, De La Hoya Company buys merchandise and account from Jonathan T.S. Company. The selling price of the goods is $1,500 and the cost to T.S. Company was $800. On September 8, De La Hoya returns defective goods with a selling price of $200. Required is to record the transaction on the books of De La Hoya Company on September 8. Question 46. The multiple step income statement for a merchandiser shows each of the following features except A. Gross profit B. Cost of goods sold C. The sales revenue section D. Investing activities section Question 47. Goods in transit should be Included in the inventory of the buyer which the A. Public carrier accepts the goods from the seller. B. Goods reach the buyer. C. Terms of sale are FOB destination. D. Terms of sale are FOB shipping point. Question 48. A cost flow method that often parallels the Actual physical flow of merchandise is the A. PIPO method B. LIFO method C. Average cost method D. Gross profit method Question 49 In a period of inflation, the cost flow method that results in the lowest income taxes is the A. PIPO method B. LIFO method C. Average cost method, the gross profit method. Question 50. Understanding ending inventory will overstate A. Assets, B. Cost of goods sold, C. Net income, D. Stockholders equity. Question 51. Walmart reported in its 2016 annual report a beginning inventory of $45,141 million, an ending inventory of $44,469 million, and cost of goods sold for the year ended January 31, 2016 of $360,984 million. Required is the Calculation of Inventory Turnover Question 52 Walmart reported in its 2016 annual report a beginning inventory of $45,141 million and ending inventory of $44,469 million and cost of goods sold for the year and then January 31, 2016 of $360,984 million. Required is to compute how many days in inventory does the company has. Question 53. Tracy Company sells three different types of home heating stoves, gas, wood, and pellet. The cost and net uh, realizable value of its inventory of stoves are as follows. So they are given in tabulated form, gas, food, and pellet with cost amount and net realizable values for each of the types. Required is to determine the value of the company's inventory under the lower of cost or net realizable value approach that is LCNRB method okay. question 54 
permitting only designated personnel to handle cash receipts is an application of the principle of A. Segregation of duties B. Establishment of responsibility C. Independent check D. Other controls Question 55 The use of pre-numbered checks in disbursing cash is an application of the principle of A. Segregation of duties B. Establishment of responsibility C. Physical, mechanical, and electronic controls D. Documentation procedure Question 56 the Control features of a bank account do not include A. Having bank auditors verify correctness of the bank balance for books B. Minimizing the amount of cash that must be kept in hand C. Providing a double record of all bank transactions D. Safeguarding cash by using a bank as a depository uh, unit Question 57 the recording item in a bank reconciliation that will result in an adjusting entry by the depositor is A. Outstanding checks B. Deposit uh, transit C. A bank error D. Bank service charges Question 58 Which of the following statements correctly describes the reporting of cash? A. Cash cannot be combined with a cash equivalent B. Restricted cash fund may be combined with cash. C. Cash is listed first in the current asset section. D. Restricted cash funds cannot be reported as a current asset. Question 59. On January 1, 2019, Iron Mountain is key corporation purchased a new snow grooming machine. For $50,000, the machine is estimated to have a 10-year life with a 2,000 salvage value. What journal entry would Iron Mountain Ski Corporation make at December 31, 2019 if it uses the straight-line method of depreciation? Question 60. We have the given cost of office uh, furniture, less uh, cumulated depreciation, book value, proceeds from sale. We have a gain on disposal of the plant asset, but we are required to make uh, the company's journal records of the sale. Write down the journal entry for the right incorporated. Question 61. Problem. Assume that right incorporated sells the furniture for 9000 So the cost of furniture is 60000 Less accumulated depreciation, book value, and other data information are written. We have a loss on disposal of plant assets for $2,000 and we are required to make the right incorporated journal entry to record the same. Question 62. Problem. Lane Coal Company invest $5 million in a mine estimated to have 1 million tons of coal and no salvage value required is to calculate the depletion cost per unit question 63 identification identify the term most directly associated with the statement below the allocation of cost of a natural resource to expense in a rational and systematic manner. What do you call is this? Question 64. Identification. 
identify the term most directly associated with the statement below. Rights, privileges, and competitive advantage that result from ownership of long-lived assets that do not possess any physical substance. Question 65. Identification. Identify the term most directly associated with a statement below. An exclusive right granted by the federal government to produce and sell an artistic or published work. Identification. Identify the term most directly associated with a statement below. A right to sell certain products or services or to use certain trademarks or trade names within a designated geographic area. Question 67. Identify the item most directly associated with the statement below. Costs incurred by a company that often lead to patents or new products, this cost must be expensed as incurred. Question 68. Problem solving. Farmer Company reported that in net income of $180,000, net sales of $420,000, and had total assets of $460,000 on January 1, 2019, and total assets on December 31, 2019 of $540,000. Determine Paramore's assets turned over for 2019. Question 69. To be classified as a current liability, a debt must be expected to be paid within A. One year. B. The operating cycle. C. Two years, D, A, or B, whichever is longer. Question 70. Ex employer payroll taxes do not include A. Federal unemployment taxes, B. State unemployment taxes, C. Federal income taxes, D. FICA taxes. Question 71. The rate of interest investors demand for loaning funds to a corporation is the A. Contractual interest rate B. Face value rate C. Market interest rate D. Stated interest rate Question 72. Carson Incorporated issues 10-year bonds with a maturity value of $200,000. If the bonds are issued at a premium, this indicates that A. The contractual interest rate exceeds the market interest rate. B. The market interest rate exceeds the contractual interest rate. C. The contractual interest rate and the market interest rate are the same. D. No relationship exists between the two rates. Question 73. Discount on bonds payable as a credit balance, B, is a contra account, C, is added to bonds payable on the balance sheet, D, increases over the term of the bonds. When bonds are deemed uh, before maturity, the gain or loss on redemption is the difference between the cash paid and D. A. Carrying value of the bonds. B. Face value of the bonds. C. Original selling price of the bonds. D. Maturity value of the bonds. 75. Working capital is calculated as A. Current assets minus current liabilities. B. Total assets minus total liabilities. C. 
long term liabilities minus current liabilities d both b and c question 76 which of these statements is false a ownership of common stock gives the owner a voting right b the stockholders equity section begins with paid in capital c the authority authorization of capital stock is not resolved in a formal accounting entry the legal capital is intended to protect stockholders question 77 which of the following statements about the small stock dividends is true a a debit to stock dividend for the par value of the shares issued should be made b a small stock dividend decrease, decreases total stockholders' equity. C. Market value per share should be assigned to the dividend shares. D. A small stock dividend ordinarily will have an effect on par value per share of stock. 